we're moving into the second half of this course. This is page 1127 of Algebra 2. And we're going to start off with doing square roots and cube roots and seventh roots and all kinds of interesting things. Um, I'm going to give you a quick overview of seven pages. Hopefully, a lot of this is review and not brand new for you. Hopefully, you've, if you've had Algebra 1, even if it was two years ago, this should come back quickly for you. And then I want to point out just a couple of tips that will help you as you work through this pace, especially this first section. <clears throat> Let's talk about um, what the radical, the square root sign, means. If there's no number written here, we can assume it's a 2, and that tells us we're trying to find a number that multiplied times itself. Okay, so only twice will give us that number. <clears throat> So what number times itself gives you 25? And you should get five, right? Now, we also know that negative five times negative five times itself also equals positive 25. So we should write plus or minus in front of the five, which means it could be the positive or the negative value. Then what we do with <clears throat> these exponents is we cut them in half. All right, if we're doing the square root, then we cut these exponents in half. So, because x squared times x squared would give you x to the fourth, and y to the one times y to the one, you'd add the exponents and you would get y squared. So the shortcut is just to think of cutting it in half. Okay, so this would be the square root of that. Now I just made that one up. I also just made this one up. <clears throat> Look at that huge number, 1936. You say, how am I supposed to know that, Mr. Ranger? Ah, in the back of your pace, <clears throat> on page 33, you'll see a chart. And you are allowed to use this for the pace, for the checkups, for the self-test, pace test. Okay? Now, I think this... Um, the pace was probably written before students had access to calculators as easily as they do today. And um, <clears throat> so honestly, if you have a calculator, any calculator, even on a phone, will have a square root key. And you can even do like third root and fourth root, that kind of a thing. So I would encourage you to learn how to use that key on your calculator. Or you may use the reference. Either way, you'll get the same answer. So let's find on this chart here the square root of 1936. So here's a number. Here is what that number would be squared. So I'm scrolling down, scrolling down, and there's 1936. So if I go over here to the left, it says that the square root of 1936 would be 44. In other words, 44 squared is 1936. So the square root of 1936 is 44, and then I should do plus or minus. And then remember the trick for the exponent is that you take half of the exponent. So a to the third, because 3 a to the third times a to the third, we would add the exponents. That's how you get the 6. Does that make sense? Let's talk about what happens if the exponent is not just 2. What if it is 3? That means what number times itself, times itself, times itself, so 3 times, would equal positive 8. And in this case, there is only one answer, and that's positive 2. Like I could not do negative 2 here, so I'm not going to do plus or minus because the negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 would actually become negative 8. All right, you see how multiplying the three negatives, this becomes a positive 4, and then positive 4 times negative 2 would be the negative 8. So in this case, <clears throat> this answer is only negative 2. I get one answer. Over here, I had two possible answers, a positive and a negative value. Here, there's only one. What about the square root of negative 25? So you might think, oh, 5, but wait a minute, 5 times 5 is positive 25. I know negative 25. I mean negative 5, but think about it. Negative 5 times negative 5 would actually give me positive 25. So there is no number that multiplied times itself equals negative 25. Until we get to a future pace where we learn about imaginary numbers. But for now, we can just say no root. Okay? 
Uh, they give you a little bit of other, a few other concepts and some practice doing some things on these seven pages, but I don't think you'll find this too bad. And then, boom, page eight is a checkup. All right, so I hope you do well on that.